Oh, there you are, Lori. Now, listen up. I was going to have a very busy day today, and I want you to have lunch prepared and ready at 12 o'clock sharp. Remember, those money men from the last National Bank are coming to transfer the money. Oh, how can I forget? You've been talking about it for like two weeks. Well, I have good reason. They're the first guest Butterball City's had in 20 years. Oh, well, the marshal wanted me to give you this. He's been sitting all around town and wanted you to have one in your office, too. Oh, how could I forget about them? The marshal's been obsessed with finding them after they heard those rumors that they were right outside of town. <laughs> what a laugh. Well, I guess if you are a sheriff of a little small town that doesn't see any action, you're a little crazy over little things like this. But not me. <laughs> Mayor, the money men? Oh, yes, yes, the money men. <gasps> the money men! <laughs> Lori, I want you to make the best food we have and make a couple of your cream pies and get the warmest beds and blankets and the softest pillows for their bed. And also have water for, ready for them if they ask for some in the middle of the night. Donovan, we'll be late for the marshal's speech. He's talking about Billy the Kid's kid and his band of ruffians. Oh, Billy the Kid's kid and his band of... Oh, I don't care. I want to take a nap. But, Mayor, you said you won't have time to take a nap. You already said you had a very busy day. Oh, well, uh, come on. Thank you all very much for coming today. I know that we all love our little city. We also know that there has never been a robbery in this city. And I, as the marshal of the great Butterball City, aim to keep it that way. With the help of my trusty posse and our wonderful, great, stupendous, amazing mayor, Mr. Mr. Oh, Mr. Donovan Sappington. you, my beloved citizens of Butterball City. I will protect you. I will protect you to the end. To the very end. With my dying breath. of Butterball City. Besides, I don't have a chair for you. It's for your own protection, Mayor. If Billy the Kid's kid and his band of ruffians heard that you had a thousand dollars, they might try to kill you. Mm. Well, well, I suppose I have a chair for you. Twelve o'clock, sir. Don't come here. Well, how do you like this? 
Billy the Kid's kid and his band of ruffians wandering around in the desert like a bunch of desert rats. You know, we've been traveling around in the desert without even a good, decent meal. All I've had is beans, 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 beans! Yeah, I'm so hungry, I'm about ready to eat Chloe! No, not Chloe! Alright, pipe down! What in tarnation, look! Look! Wagon tracks! It was Indians, alright. Indians? They beat us to it. They took everything. I bet they had some girls. They took everything, alright. Except for this. Looks like some sort of a bank note. The last national bank. <clears throat> to Mr. Spud, Bud, and Dud of the last national bank. Transfer $1,000 from the bank at Butterwell City and bring it back to the last national bank. The mayor, Mr. D. Seppington, is expecting y'all for dinner and will accommodate y'all for the night. You must bring this money back by the 17th of the month. P.S. This paper, bring this paper to the mayor as verification to transfer the money. P.P.S. Your, keep your eyes peeled for Billy the Kid's kid and his band of ruffians. He's in the area. P.P.P.S. Don't worry about the Indians. There's none in the area. I guarantee. You guarantee, eh? What are we gonna do? I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to the mayor's house to get a free meal for one thousand dollars. Now, pardon me, Mr. Spud, Mr. Dud. Would you put on these clothes? Mr. Suffington, the three money men are here. Oh, wonderful! Just on time. Oh yes, yes, of course. Bring them in. Bring them in. Hello. 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 I'm Mr. Spud. Mr. Bud. And I'm Mr. Dud. Oh, a pleasure, a pleasure. This is my wife. Oh, I just adore money men. I come from a long line of money men. My father was a money man, my brother was a money man, even my mother was a money man. I can sense that they're genuine from a mile away. I'm glad you can't sense them any closer. Quiet. And I'm sure you know my name, don't you? Of course we know your name, Mayor. Well, what is it? Well, everyone knows your name, so we don't need to say it, because everybody knows it. Well, you see, I don't need to know if y'all know my name, because if y'all are the real money men, then you would know my name. Oh, Donovan, stop babbling. I'm sure these men are hungry. Donovan, where's the food? Oh, uh, yes, yes, uh, <laughs> oh, it's almost done. It's our chef's specialty. <laughs> oh, boy, I can't wait to eat something besides beans. You know, the marshal's coming for dinner, too. Oh, no. Uh, what did you say? Mm -hmm. Uh, him, uh, he said, uh, oh, ho, oh, I can't wait to see the marshal, didn't you, Travis, uh, Mr. Bud? Why, gentlemen, why don't you come sit down? Oh, yes, yes, sit down. Do you think the marshal will recognize us? I don't know, but when they start asking questions, just follow my lead. Gentlemen, this is the marshal. Marshal, this is Mr. Spud, Bud, and Doug. All right. I sure heard a lot about you, Mr. Spud. Oh, uh, ain't that a coincidence? How's your sister? She's still... Oh, yes. Ain't that a shame. How about your brother? He's still... Oh, yes, yes. Oh, that's simply divine. <clears throat> oh, Mr. Spud, I heard your father's coming to dinner with us tonight. Oh, really? <laughs> I uh, haven't seen old man, old man in years. Really? Well, he said to me... He saw you just last week. Oh, uh, is he as tall as ever? No, I seem to remember he's quite short. Say, Mr. Bud, you look quite ill. You should go lie down. Oh, Donovan, do something! <laughs> oh, yes, let me take you to your room. No, it's okay. I can manage. I also heard your wife was going to be joining us for dinner this afternoon. Oh, <laughs> she always knows where to snap out a free meal. meal. Oh, my! Oh, oh. Oh, now what's the matter with you? Oh, him? He's got a week back. Oh, so how long ago did he there get that week back of his? Oh, about a week back. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, well, let's all here sit down before we, someone else gets ill. Seems like it's making its around. Besides, your father and wife should be getting here any minute. I hope. Come in. <laughs> Sonny boy! Popsy! Oh, my wife! You know, Popsy, his wife's coming too. Oh, why'd you have to invite that big fat pig? Oh, my! Johnny! Come in, come in. Darling! Sweetheart! Give me a big fat kiss! <coughs> Mm. 
So, Mr. Spud, how's your child? Oh, uh, he's, uh... He? Uh, she is, uh... She? It! Oh, good food. <laughs> I'm starving. Oh, I can't wait to eat something besides beans. I can't look another bean in your face. Beans, 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 beans! I can't eat beans! What's the matter with beans? Oh, huh, she can't eat beans, then, uh, give her gas. Oh, my! Oh, here, Mrs. Spud, you can have my face. Oh, darling, you like beans, don't you? Don't mind her, she was raised by pigs. Oh my! Never mind the pigs, lady, I think it was hyenas. Oh my! <clears throat> That's my little shoe. It's been quite a long time, Mr. Spud. Don't you think maybe we should go check on Mr. Bud and Mr. Dud? Oh, yes, don't you think we better check on Mr. Bud and Mr. Dud? Oh. Hey, where do y'all think he's going? Check on Mr. Bud and Mr. Dud. No, I'm going to check on Mr. Bud and Mr. Dud. No, what? Er, uh, you haven't finished your beans yet. Oh, yeah, stop the fuss. You two go check on him. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, I think they're phonies, and I'm going to prove it to you. No. I'm the real McCoy. I thought his name was Mr. Spud. No, uh, see, here's the paper. Oh, uh, yes, uh, everything seems to be in order, Marshal. They stole it, and I'm gonna prove it. Uh, better be off. That's why you you just got here. Oh, my, my week back. Oh yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay. Well, if you'd be so kind to give us the money, uh, we'll be off now. Uh, uh, I guess it's all right. He hid the money so well, no one would ever be able to find it. Yes. Come in with the boot, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. One thousand dollars. We better be off. Bye. 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 Oh, it's time for dessert. Why don't you all stay? Well, things we'd love to, but we gotta go, don't we, boys? I'll stay for some pie. Me too. We'd love to, but we have to go, don't we, boys? Not me. I'm not budging. We need to go, boys. No, I want pie. Oh, you want pie, eh? Yeah. Wait. What about me? You want pie too? Yeah! Take off y'all's hats. Come on! Get out of here! Oh my! Well, bye. Hey, wait a second. What about your wife? What about her? Isn't she going with you? No, she's staying for seconds. Toodaloo. Pies. Look, Mayor, disguises. <gasps> I knew they were phony from the very beginning. Me too. We'll catch those crooks yet. Man, I'm glad we got out of these binky clothes. You said it. Better scram before they find out. Oh, look, there's a house over there. We can find it. It's locked.
Oh, 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 yes, of course. Another window. Oh, sorry, man. I'm, I'm the marshal. I'm here looking for somebody. Oh, miss me. Oh, 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 well, well, it didn't hurt me none. Oh, 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 man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It looks like it looks like I best be leaving now. Whoa. It's beautiful today. Oh, I bet you told it to all the boys. I mean, girls. Clovis told me the news. I'm so happy for you. Here's this. What are you expecting? Pardon me, Marshal. Have you seen my wife? I think she's inside. Thank you. Er, uh, well, oh, I would say about a year. Oh, well, um, what happened to your, to your hair? It looked like a rat's hair. Here, let me fix it. <laughs> what was that? I think you better scram. Wait, where do you go? Is that a real hammer? Yeah. Cut out, guys. We need to scram. Darling, are you home? Well, darling, we need to get going if that train's coming this afternoon. You know, this is the first time a train has come to Butterball City this year. What's the matter, darling? Clovis, we need to go if we're going to catch that train. I'm just trying to wake you up. What? Oh! Oh! Shucks, lady. What are you doing? Oh, oh. Marshall, Marshall, it's really a kid's kid and it's been in the Where? Where? Uh, What are you doing uh, on the ground? I mean, really. Uh, 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 Come on, Marshall. Go get him. Go get him. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, go get him, Marshall. Yeah, you can do it. Hey. One around us. Well, honey, I like Oh, hey, Foster boy. Come over here. You called the Foster man? Yes. Uh, get right there, boy. Mush, mush. Mush, mush. Come on, get him. Boys, I'm just excited. Where are you in that bridge? Jasper, take the door over there and hide. Trust a goat. Hey, it's only one 
$100 bill left. What the? Why, you possum brain skunk bait? Hands up! We got the upper hand, Billy. No funny business now. Hands up, come on! Sorry, boys. Ah! Whoa! He's getting away! Where are you? Handcuff these two. He's going to the top. Come on, around this way. Go, go, go! There. Yeah. I say, Marshal, what in our nation's going on here? Look! Take these two away. Yeah, come on.